it's Monday morning. I am on my own this week. Ty had to Ty has residential school for uni, so he is he's got to be on campus every day for a week in a nearby town up in the mountains. So he's going to be staying overnight. He just left about an hour ago. I am getting ready to do the school drop off, and then I'm going to go spend the day with my nana. So I just got up. I straightened my hair. I don't know why, but it is greasy as sh. I washed it last night. It was clean then. Look at that, like, gross. So I don't know what to do. I don't know whether just to leave it or put it in a ponytail or what. Um, I don't really understand because my hair is never greasy. <laughs> so and I just washed it last night. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm just about to get dressed. I'm still in my sleep shirt. Um, put some makeup on maybe. It is almost 22 8 we have to leave at no later than 10 past 8 so just about half an hour both my kids are still asleep <laughs> refusing to get up so this is my life I don't know why I have I have the kids that don't get up at the crack of dawn I've been up since before six they're both still asleep an hour and a half an hour and 40 minutes later <laughs> all right I'm gonna go get dressed talk to you soon sleep really starting to catch up with me so oh, I'm really trying hard not to fall asleep um, but yeah we had a nice day we went to coffee at the coffee club I had half a little mini cheesecake it was really nice um, I'm really bloated now though so probably shouldn't have done that but um, had a yummy latte we went into spotlight I I didn't buy any craft stuff in Spotlight? No, I did. I did. <laughs> I'll do a little haul of everything I bought when I got home, but uh, I bought some trims from Spotlight. My Nana bought me a couple of Christmas presents because I haven't seen her since before Christmas, so um, she bought me some home decor items. We went into Adair's, bought a couple of things from there. So she bought me a gift and she bought herself something, and then she bought me a little something in Spotlight as well, so she's such a sweetie. Um, what else? Where else did we go? Went into Ikea. I wanted a cutlery tray of some description to sort out my tools drawer, but none of them were the right size, so that's a bit... Yeah, but I did get, I got a cushion, I got some plants, some fake plants. What else did I get? I can't remember. Yeah, so now I'm just, I'm waiting for the o'clock to pick up the boy. I just got my Kogo Vanilla Studio Design Team package, so that's exciting. It's the new Legendary Collection, the little boy stuff. It's sitting in my passenger seat right now, so I'm excited to go home and unbox that. Hey peeps, it's Tuesday morning. It's been quite a morning. <laughs> um, I'm tired this <laughs> morning. Bruce! I was up till after midnight and then I got up before six. <laughs> so, it's my fault. Um, yeah, I was up not too late scrapping. I have a had a design team that needed finished. But uh, then I had to do the dishes and the laundry 
pack the kids' school bags, make the lunches. So by the time I got to bed, it was after midnight. Um, but that's okay. I'll be fine once I wake up and finish my coffee. Hair's doing weird things this morning. So I pray to tell again. I'm going to have to wash it tonight, I think, because it's just... Usually I can leave my hair like a week in between washes and it doesn't get greasy, but I don't know what's going on. I don't know. <laughs> Today I'm going to Carindale to meet Tani. We're catching up, having coffee, walk around the shops. <laughs> um, I'll get to see her bub. I haven't seen her in a while. Yeah, so I'll drop the kids off. I was going to go get new tyres, but... Um, Ty said he wants to try out a new place, so I have to wait till he, get, he gets home on Friday. So I don't know, because I'm not meeting her at the shops till 11, and I'll leave shortly after 9, and it won't take me. I'll be there before 10, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Karen got up at 6 this morning, or just after 6, just after I got up. So that's nice, I don't have to go and try and pry him out of bed. Violet has just woken up, so I'm going to pop in and actually get her up. Yeah, I need to make a doctor appointment because I've run out of tummy medication. It's basically just a proton pump inhibitor that I take, so it just reduces my stomach acid because I have... I still am struggling with the gastritis that put me in hospital, so I'm fine with the medication, but I didn't... I ran out yesterday and yeah, so I'm feeling pretty sick to my stomach, especially in the mornings, because um, you know, I haven't eaten all night, so your stomach as it is higher. Um, so I've got to finish getting ready. I've got to put on some makeup. Um, I'm just wearing like a navy stripe uh, t-shirt dress today and some sneakers because I'll be going down the shop, so I just want to be comfortable. I've got to finish my coffee, get the kids dressed, put some makeup on. Violet. Ah. Uh... Violet, uh... <laughs> Hello, good morning. Sorry, it's another car chat, but I didn't charge my phone last night somehow. So I think I I must have charged it for a bit, and then maybe when I hopped in bed, I accidentally unplugged it, like I was as I was scrolling before I went to sleep, because um, I didn't even notice my battery was low until I I was at the shops. I parked the car and I pulled my phone out, and it was on low battery. I'm like what? So I didn't get to film very much today. I went to. I don't know if I mentioned I went to Carindale with my friend um, and her little bubba. So we had a coffee, we had some uh, breakfast, just a little bit of breakfast. I did some shopping, I had to get some stuff for my kit, my makeup kit. Um, and yeah, so I went into Mac and I got a couple of things there and in Priceline, um, some skincare items from there. And what else did I buy? Big W, I needed some cot sheets, Violet needed some new cot sheets and I also got a couple of clothing items on clearance because nothing fits me anymore. So I grabbed um, those, they're really cheap so I don't feel too guilty. Um, yeah, I had a cuddle. I got to carry uh, Bub around the shops for quite a while and she gave me a little cuddle, oh, so sweet. Um, so now I'm just sitting outside Corrin School waiting for the bell. I picked up a boost on the way home because it's cheap Tuesday. I was gonna get one this morning, but I ran out of time. So I got a mango magic with pineapple, delicious. So I think the gate's just open, so I'm gonna head in there. Hey, so I'm in my new office. <laughs> I just got back from picking up Violet, went to the groceries first, and got some of my favorite snacks. Veggie chips. Uh, the deli crisps. I love these things. They're so nice. The sweet potato chips. I don't know why. They're just so addictive. This tooth is really sore when I'm eating them. Which doesn't make any sense because I went to the dentist a week ago and they took x-rays and I have no cavities. Everything looks fine. So uh, I don't know why that tooth is hurting. But anyhow, I have a bunch of stuff to show you. 
I thought I would come in here. The air conditioning's on. It's nice and cool. It's really hot today. It's so hot out there. The kids are out there. I've got them on the monitor, so um, they're not unsupervised. But Violet's just watching a little bit of TV. My son's chilling out, having some iPad time and a snack. I asked Karen if he wanted to come in here because he's been he's been hanging out in Abby's chair in the afternoons while he um, has his relaxed time and I do my stuff in here. But he didn't want to, which I find really strange because it's really really gross out there. It's 37 degrees out there right now. I guess it's boring in here for them. I don't know. They were really they were really really keen on this room when we first pulled it all together it was very interesting but now it's a few days old it's boring clearly all right so i've just got i've got a few things on my desk here so i'm just going to show you what i bought yesterday first and then i'll show you the couple of things i got today a huge shop or anything i don't think anyway <laughs> okay so these things are from adairs spotlight and ikea and they're mostly for my bedroom so if you have seen some of my previous vlogs, you might know that my bedroom is, I've got it kind of blush pinks and greys and it's really pretty, but I wanted to add another pop of another color and I'm really enjoying mustard at the moment. So I found a blanket that I really liked. It caught my eye. I really wanted it. So um, yeah, I bought a few other things to match that and yeah, I'm going to put them in the bedroom. So the first thing I got is this blanket from Adair. It's like a minky soft the soft fleece so it's the bailey tassel throw in mustard it's from the kids section but it's that really super soft fleecy material and it has tassels it's pretty large for a throw i would say that would cover probably a whole king a whole king a whole single bed um but i'm just going to like throw it across the end of my bed as like an accent color it's so soft it's so nice i love the tassels it's the perfect color um mustard i didn't want anything too yellow or too brown it's just the perfect kind of in between it's so nice so i am a part of their linen lovers club which is it's 20 dollars for two years and then you get all the like sale discounts and stuff so if you shop there more than once a year it's probably worth um, joining their linen lovers club because they have lots of good sales um, so i got this at i think they had all throws for 30 percent off so this was 30 percent off i think 50 dollars. so it was like it was like 35 dollars around about so um not bad for a really nice throw i don't think i had a look at their cushions they have lots of um, really nice mustard cush cushions actually but they were really expensive i think the cheapest cheapest one was $60 <laughs> and then yeah $70 <laughs> and I can't I can't spend the money on a cushion so I popped into Ikea actually I went to spotlight first but I'll get to that popped into Ikea and found a cushion cover that will work I mean it's just plain it's not like tasseled or tufted or anything pretty but it's the right color so I really just need a pop of accent color so this is the the cover so very very similar color that's the Sanela, but there doesn't appear to be a color name on the bag so anyway it's the mustard one nice big big cushion and then i got the fiad fiadra if you're swedish i apologize for my abysmal accent i have no idea how to say that but it's the 50 by 50 cushion insert that goes with this so 50 by 50 centimeters 20 inches so it's a good size cushion um that's like really compacted but i find that the ikea um the pillows puff out really well so hopefully the cushion does as well and then in spotlight i found this this little pot which i don't know i was kind of iffy on whether it's too brown, it is a little browner, I think. It's definitely brown on this, which is a little bit of a more golden color, but I don't know, it's in the same color family, so I think it kind of works. I wasn't sure whether to get it or not. I was only and I and my nana took it off me and bought it for me, so um, yeah. So she paid for the blanket as well, so that's um, part of my Christmas present from her. So yeah, it's got like a crackly texture on it. I quite like, I mean, I really like, I like the design of it. It's an octagon, yes, an octagon. <laughs> it's got this cool like leaf print on it. 
only ten dollars really good price for a cute little pot while i was in spotlight i picked up a couple of cute trims these are just off the uh by the meter spool so i got this pink i should probably do this in like a craft haul but honestly i don't have much more to haul yeah it's like this cute little pink teeny tiny pom-pom trim really cute delicate pretty and then this yeah this like rainbow loopy one it's really pretty all pastels yeah cute for mini albums and travels notebooks and stuff also from ikea what did i get water <laughs> i came with my lunch never even opened that i got some body puffs plus light seeds and some fake plants um so i do prefer real plants but a couple of the rooms in this house have window tinting film on them and that blocks out 99 percent of uv rays and plants kind of need uv to photosynthesize so i can't have real plants in those rooms because they just die there is no physical way to keep them alive unless i put uv lamps in those rooms and no no so some of the rooms need five plants that's okay i've got a couple of these pretty little peony style flowers they're called smicker smicker flower they're about three dollars each i think i got the pink and the cream sort of color these are for i've got a vase up on my calyx unit that is empty so i'm just gonna put a couple of these in there um, and then i got a couple of these little potty little potty ones so this one Droopy, hangy one. It's all tangled up at the moment, but this is to go in here, I think. So I'll just have that in the bedroom. I've got a shelf that needs to go up in there, so I want to put a sensi warmer on there and this pot with this plant, hopefully, well, that's plan. Anyway, and then this one I got for my little pot that sits out on my piano because um, I kind of just got a makeshift one in there at the moment. This is cute. It's a, um, what is that, string of beads? Is that what they're called? It's cute. It looks real. Looks pretty real, I think. And today I went into Priceline, Mac, and Big W. I don't know whether to show you guys this stuff. It might be a bit boring. Um, Priceline, I just got skincare. So from Mac, I just bought just bought four things, but it cost me hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> but uh, this is for my kit. So I bought a paint pot in soft ochre. So I like these two prime eyelids before eyeshadow so i have the painterly color it's on the pinky side so this is a more uh sort of tan skin color and then i also bought a pro longwear concealer this is a the liquid concealer that comes it's got a little pump inside um i don't use this on the under eyes i also use this on the eyelids um i find that uh, i don't usually like to use a concealer as an eyeshadow primer but this one works really well it sets really it sets down really um really well and doesn't move and i like it for a cut crease because it's a more of a liquid formula and it's really opaque so and it sets like nobody's business it's it's really heavy duty stuff so two lipsticks my favorite things this is like my guilty pleasure this and eyeshadow palettes <laughs> yeah can't help myself so i have patisserie which is a luster formula it's a really pretty, I feel like a beauty guru. Come on, focus. Kind of really hard to explain the color. I don't want to swatch it because I want to take some photos for my Instagram before I, um, you know, ruin the bullet. But it's a really pretty nudie color. I'd say a little bit on the rosy side. And then this one is cream in your coffee. But autumn is coming, so I just wanted a little bit like, still a nude, but it's, it's on the deep side, but it's not a plum but it's not a brown it's kind of hard to yeah i didn't want anything too brown nothing too plum nothing too rosy nothing too pinky yeah like not not asking much right but really nice deep nude color so kind of hard to see but really really pretty so yeah two nudes of course <laughs> three clothing items stuff on clearance so I'm going crazy I just bought a few things I'm not feeling too badly about this I shouldn't be spending money but at the same time 
none of my clothes fit me because I've lost so much weight. So, so this one is a really pretty color. I really like this rust color at the moment. I might be coming up more pink or red on the camera, but it's rust and it's just a, like a silky cami. It looks huge actually. Anyway, um, I bought a skirt recently similar. It's like a silky material um, and it's pleated all around. It's soft blue and it has like leaves and birds and stuff on um, printed on it. And it's got kind of like a sage green and then a rust color flowers. Really hard to explain, I should probably show you. But I don't have any tops that really match this skirt. Like it's really kind of unusual colors that I don't usually go for. So um, when I saw this, I thought this would be a perfect color to wear with it. And even if not, it's just a nice sort of normal standard cami. So I can wear this with jeans and in the wintertime I can put a blazer over. And it was $5, so. So another shirt, this is a just a white, it's in that kind of nice linen fabric, just like your normal button up collared shirt. I just don't have one. And that was $7, I think. And then I got these jeans. Um, they're not jeans, they're denim pants. I want to say they're like sweatpants. So they're that light colored denim. They're that quite, it's really thin, kind of almost silky, not really a denim got like elastic waist and like super super daggy looking but they're so comfortable <laughs> and then the bottom has the like the elastic like jogger pant kind of cuff and then the little stud so you can wear them open or you can stud them closed so they're not particularly flattering but um they're cute <laughs> i just think they're cute and they're like really comfy so and these are only seven dollars as well so if you're if, even if i just wear these around the house at least they actually fit me Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick little try on. You're not allowed to laugh at me because I'm not used to, <laughs> I've done this before. This is the skirt I was talking about. So it's that powder blue. It's got these rusty like leaves and some of them are blush pink, but there's a lot of that rust color in there. So I kind of thought this, this top would go nicely with the skirt. And like I said, I can wear it with jeans and stuff. So yeah, it is, it's a little, big it's it's not too bad but like it just covers my bra there and yeah I don't know it's just kind of quite 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 baggy I don't know whether it's supposed to be this baggy okay so there's the pants super attractive like they're really not they're super daggy but yeah, they're, they're comfy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I can get away with it. <laughs> and this is a shirt. I mean, it's a little, it's a little wrinkled, obviously, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Cute tucked into a pair of jeans. Like, not these jeans, obviously, but a pair of jeans. Yeah, it's just a nice linen shirt. Again, really big. Like, it's enormous. And it's a, it's a size 8, so it's supposed to be small, but I feel like it's really, really big. And I mean, the pants are a size 8 and they fit nicely. There we go, those are those two lipsticks. The one on the bottom is cream in your coffee and the one on the top is patisserie. It's very sheer, it's a luster formula, so it's meant to be on the sheer side. Really pretty autumn tones, I think. So Karen wants scrambled eggs for dinner. So that's what we're having. Can I have one egg? Yes, you can. 
Come on. Remember, bang it on the counter. Specifically asked for scrambled eggs. Do you remember how? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Need some help? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, can you give it a stir? Yeah. <laughs> Pop the eggs. Pop, pop, pop. Do you remember how? Like this. <laughs> I'm really not keen today. I just want to go back to sleep. <sighs> Sorry, that's where my phone mount is. Uh, it's 2.30. I'm just heading off to pick up Corinne from school. Um, it's been a day. I'll tell you what, it has been a day. So I woke up really tired. I just wasn't feeling good. Really tired, not feeling well. And I ran out of my proton pump inhibitor that reduces my stomach acid. I ran out of that this week. I haven't had a chance to go to the doctor to get a new script, so I um, I was just trying to get past, get past, or get by without it. And um, I was fine yesterday, but today I woke up and I just felt really, really ill and sick to my stomach. So I decided to pop into the doctor. They had a, a early appointment so I popped in there this morning after I dropped off uh, at school and I so I got that refill and I mentioned to him that I have had this bruising I'm covered in bruises at the moment like I have at least 15 bruises on my legs I have them on my stomach on my arms on my hips like I'm just covered in bruises um, I literally look like I've been thrown down stairs and I was a little concerned about it, um, so I mentioned that to him, and he said uh, he was a little bit worried about my liver function, so he sent me for a blood test, and I mean, we already know that my liver isn't doing particularly well. Basically, um, my, because my gallstones are so bad, I now have bile flying back into my liver and damaging my liver cells and my liver is enlarged and fatty, which it should not be for someone who is a healthy weight, which I am, and who doesn't have diabetes or blood pressure issues, which I have neither. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't manage a diet because my diet is already good. Um, they're, they're literally, the only thing we can do is take my gallbladder out, which I'm still waiting for my surgery. It's in April. Which is um, another almost two months away. So, with bruising, um, it's generally a sign that your body factors aren't where they should be. So, um, which is all that's all controlled by your liver. Like, there's a reason why you need your liver to live because it does so many things to keep your body going. So, yeah, so I had to do that, and then as soon as I finished having my blood taken, I had to go pick up Violet to take her to her speech appointment. Um, she's just started, this was her assessment. She had a really good time, um, that was over an hour, an hour and a half, so I dropped her off, went home, ate something, and now I'm back out to pick up Corin, so, and then I'll pick her up again um, on my home. So it's been a day, I'm tired, I was tired anyway, I've had blood taken, I've been running around all day, I haven't had enough to drink. I haven't had a lot to eat. I honestly just need a day where I can just sleep all day. Oh, I'm so tired. But anyway, I'm here now. I'm at the school. I'm just about to park if I can find a, a spot. It's a bit hellish in the afternoons. Um, I have to get here half an hour early to have any chance of getting a car park because um, it's the smallest car park in the world. And I can't do, like, sit down and pick up because uh, you have to drop your preps off. You have to walk them in and walk them out. So, all right, I've got a spot. There's only one more left. So I'm just gonna sit here for half an hour. My podcast.
is on and I'm going to I'm gonna just scroll my phone. Oh, it's a long rest of time before I have to start up again. As soon as I pick Violet up I'll have to head home. Pack the school bags, do everyone's homework with him, make dinner, bath bedtime, and then I'll get some time to myself. And then tomorrow Violet has OT, so it's another day where I'm, I'll be running around all day. Anyway, that's enough for me. <laughs> enough for me whinging. how full that gutter is. It's a lot of water. Whoa. That was a big one. Getting, that's getting windy. Oh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's a big storm. Hey. Wow. Mom, a dog's so scared on. I know. Oh no. What? Oh, a tree. I know. It's a bit scary, isn't it? And a dog can't scare me. Mm -hmm. A dog don't want fun dog. I oh, know. It's really coming down. <gasps> oh no! A dog is banned! Garbage man. Look! Oh, that's okay, mate. It's just got knocked over. Yeah, Why? Can you pop down from there. It's, it's not. It fell over on a garbage truck. Uh huh. Uh, no, it's Jason. He fell over on a storm. Yeah, the storm knocked it over, mate. Why? A job is not picking up? No idea how I've done that. Took a good chunk of skin off. <laughs> concealer I bought for my kit yep never even opened it This new little baby at Bunnings today. Little baby fern. It's really cute, nice and healthy. It's like pineapple pot, it's like metallic gold. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, he's had a little drink. He seems to be pretty happy. I'm just gonna leave him up here for now while he's a baby. So he's in his own separate pot inside, so if I need to move him later, that shouldn't be too difficult. But yeah, he's sweet. I was in the study just now with my phone tripod, the gooseneck arm, trying to adjust it in my hands. And as I was like bending it, trying to make it turn, it flipped around and smacked me in the face. 
right on the bridge of my nose really really hard and I don't know if you can see but I have a pretty decent bruise there now right here is all swollen I feel like I might end up with a black eye or two like <laughs> see, my head hurts <laughs> it really really hurt <laughs> like swung around so hard and just cracked me right there it's like 8 30 i'm thinking about going to sleep my head hurts and i had a bit of a cry so that's how my evening's going hey peeps it's saturday morning i'm probably not going to vlog very much today because i woke up 5 a.m i think at about 5 a.m um with biliary colic which is just a gall gallbladder attack um, in incredible pain uh, so I had to get up and take some of my painkillers which I hate doing because they're opioids I don't react well to them I don't like the way they make me feel they make me feel very sick they knock me out and make me very fuzzy I just hate the way they make me feel but when I'm in really bad pain I need them uh, so I took those and went back to sleep and didn't get up until almost 10 I don't even know what time it is now um, but I am still very fuzzy I'm still feeling very sick so I think I'm probably just going to have a really quiet um I want to say relax but just subdued day at home try not to be sick <laughs> Hey peeps, it's Sunday morning and you know what, I think this is the first time I've actually remembered to vlog every single day of the week that I'm vlogging. It's a miracle. Um, I've just got out of the shower, just washed my hair. It's still very wet. I am going to try to resist the temptation to put it up today because um, that's why it went all greasy. I think I'm going to just quickly show you how my craft room is at the moment. It's not I don't know if it's any different, but yeah, I think this is how we're working with it at the moment. So this is how it's looking. I'm pretty happy with it at the moment. There's my Calyx unit. I just installed some of these glass shelves in my Calax, so now I have a bit more functional storage. So my big shot is sitting there and then I have space to store things above. Same with down here, I have some mixed media stuff and some like all my tissue paper and whatnot behind there. And then I have a shelf for a few other boxes and folders. And then over here I put in two shelves. So there are not all my kits, but um, some of my kits. So I kind of need to go through and rearrange my kit storage a little bit um, because they kind of don't really make sense. Some of these are kits, some of them are collections. And then I have a cube down there full of craft wallets that are also some of them kits, some of them collections. So I kind of need to consolidate and keep things together. Um, otherwise I get confused. Um, and then on the bottom there is just some page protectors, some Project Life ones, some A4 ones, and some 12 by 12 So yeah, but at the moment anyway, that's helping. We have been busy crafting up a storm. <laughs> Quite a bit of mess. 
and it's going to stay like this because I am packing a cut file I'm nearly finished yeah I'm, I'm not going to pack up all my scraps until I finished because it will just get messy again so I have my desk at the moment again it's really not super functional I kind of want to mm, I still need to figure out a better way to have this tripod it's taking up too much space I think but anyway it is 9 20 p.m. so I've just finished I've just finished editing a video so I am exporting that at the moment once that's exported I'm just going to shut my computer down I won't upload it till tomorrow so I'm pretty tired I was ready for bed at about 7 30 actually and ended up having a pretty epic nap yesterday which I can't even remember the last time that I had a nap aside from when I was sick in hospital and first day of uni tomorrow so I'll have to get up and get stuck in because it's gonna be a hectic semester but anyway my video has just finished exporting so I am going to say goodbye sign off thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time bye guys